This film will show you what to expect if you are having a myocardial perfusion scan, sometimes called an MPS or thallium scan. My name is June Heath and I come from Buckingham and I've come here today to have an MPS scan. Well, it all started just suddenly one day. I was gardening and I, I couldn't breathe. And my neighbours said, whatever's the matter? And I said, well, I don't know. And uh, they said, you leave that garden. Oh, we'll finish that, which they did. So that's why they've sent me here today. My name is Nick Sabawal. I'm a consultant cardiologist at the Oxford Heart Centre at the John Radcliffe Hospital. So the myocardial perfusion scan, or the nuclear cardiology test, allows us to look at the blood supply to the heart and also the pumping action of the heart in one non-invasive test. We perform this test in two parts. We perform a scan of the heart once we have stressed the heart and also another scan when the heart is in the resting state. It's important you don't have caffeine for at least 12 hours before the test so that it doesn't interfere with the test. We then exercise you by injecting a drug into you this makes it ideal for patients who cannot exercise or have difficulty exercising, or by putting you on a treadmill or a bicycle. But for most patients, we use a pharmaceutical agent to exercise your heart arteries. The stress component of the test can sometimes cause some mild chest discomfort, occasionally a bit of breathing difficulty, but these are all short-term uh, side effects. The serious side effects from this test, fortunately, are incredibly rare. At peak stress, we inject a radioactive dye which goes into the heart, but this is a tiny dose in comparison to the ones that, say, patients get from radiotherapy. And then we take a picture of the heart afterwards. After that, there's a break for about 45 minutes. During this time, you'll be given some food to help clear the radioactivity out of your stomach. And then after that, we'll take a resting scan of your heart, which again is another dye that's injected whilst you're sitting down and then we take another picture of your heart under the camera a bit later on. The test could take three to four hours on one visit, or you may visit twice, in which case you'll be there for one hour or so for each visit. You shouldn't have any side effects after the test, but it's important to drink plenty of water to help clear the radioactivity out of your system. The worst bit was putting my arms round the back of my neck. That's quite painful. Well, it wasn't too bad. It was just when they put the injection in that made me not be able to breathe. That was, that was the worst part. Otherwise, it, it's nothing much to it. Well, I'm hoping to be, get better a bit so that I can spend more time with my grandchildren before they grow up too quick. Heart disease is still the single biggest killer in the UK. But for over 50 years, we've tirelessly pioneered research that has helped transform the lives of people living with heart and circulatory conditions. Join our fight for every heartbeat in the UK. Every pound raised, every minute of your time, and every donation to our shops will help make a difference. <laughs>